Inserting simulation statistics. Statistics functions return desired statistics on simulation results for a specified cell or a simulation output or input. These functions are updated in real time as a simulation is running or at the end of a simulation. Having statistic functions available in Excel cells allow you to automatically retrieve information from a certain input or output without having to open a graph of a certain variable and read respectively a certain statistic. Let us calculate four statistics for all input and output variables of the model. The mean, the 80th percentile, the standard deviation, and the linear correlation coefficient with respect to the output variable total cost. 105. Place your cursor on cell L3 and click on the Insert Function button of at Risks ribbon. Then, select Risk Mean out of a Statistic Functions Simulation Results section. The following window appears. 106. Make a reference on Data Source to K3, since this is the input variable from which we want to calculate its mean once the simulation has been performed. The next parameter, sim number, is an optional parameter that can be referred to whenever multiple simulations are run. Since this is not the case here, this parameter can be left blank. 107. Close this window by clicking on the OK button. Cell M3 should now have the following function. Equals risk mean, open parenthesis, K3, Close parenthesis. 108. On cell M3, do the same operation by clicking on the Insert Function button of at Risks ribbon. Then select Risk Percentile out of Statistic Functions, Simulation Results section. The following window appears. For data source, click a reference to K3. For percent value, Click a reference to the confidence level cell on the params tab, cell B2, named conf level. Then close with OK. Cell M3 should now have the following function. Equals risk percentile, open parenthesis, K3, comma, conf level, close parenthesis. 109. On cell M3, insert by the same token a function to calculate the standard deviation of K3 with the function equals risk STD dev, open parenthesis, K3, close parenthesis. 110. On cell O3, calculate the linear correlation coefficient of the respective input variable on K3 as it is related to the fixed reference of the output total cost on cell $k$21. The function should look like this. Equals risk corel, open parenthesis, k3, comma, $k$21, comma, 1, close parenthesis. 111. Now, Select the range L3, O3 with the respective statistic functions and copy them. Then paste this range to the following ranges. L4, O13, L16, O19, and finally L21, O21. 112. On cell K22, Insert the following function that calculates the probability of the simulated total cost to be under the deterministic baseline of $115,000 with the function equals risk target, open parenthesis, K21, comma, I21, close parenthesis. 113. On cell K23, Insert the following function equals M21 minus J13. Notice that this function does not use inherently any simulation result type of function, but it makes reference to two fixed calculated values obtained after a simulation. It is the subtraction of the total contingency established at the 80% confidence 
minus the original $100,000 required as a baseline for activities. 114. Start a simulation with a 10,000 iterations now. Note that simulation result functions, as the ones we have inserted here, do not get immediately updated with correct results before a simulation is run. You now have to start a simulation, and after the simulation has finished, then the results for these functions will be updated. After a simulation is run, cell K23 now displays a calculated value of approximately $18,000. This is the amount of money required beyond the $100,000 in activities cost that may be reserved in order to guarantee an 80% confidence that it will be enough to cover any contingencies. As shown on cell K22, the original amount of $115,000, $100,000 plus 15% arbitrary contingency rate of 15%, would only cover eventual project costs with a 41% probability. In other words, there would be a 59% probability that this amount would not be enough to cover for the total costs of the project.